Hey, Coach, so happy you found us on YouTube. Um, let me know if you have any questions, first of all. Down, comments down below, subscribe up above. I'm here to help. Uh, if you're looking for greater detail, make sure you check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. You'll either find a link up above or down below in the show notes, 14 day free trial, tons of resources, one on one calls with me, office hours, you name it, it's there. Go check it out. Enjoy the video. Uh, let me talk about some, uh, some, some other things that are basketball wise, because I'm talking about a lot of things that are changing. Skill development is huge. When you grab two basketballs, just grab two basketballs going underneath. That, that we do this drill every day and we have about 30 of these, but a great example for you to do. We've got two basketballs, just going underneath, I want you to do Mikeins, double Mikeins. One guy, one guy, that, you know what a Mikein is? Right, he was a Minneapolis Laker, right, on one side, but two of them. We do this for 20, we do end up doing this for 20 seconds every day of our lives, we do it. When we, it's a first warm up because it's a stretch. But the key is, in 20 seconds, our big guy's got to make 20. Right? So I, I got a I got a thing right here. Right? Let me just do the hold on son. You ready? Here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this. I think I can do it on 20 seconds. There's a stopwatch. I want I want somebody get out there, right? Who's the math major here? Count how many he makes, all right? <laughs> so we're gonna say every every guard has to do 18, a forward's gotta make 19, a big man's gotta make 20. And we don't do that every day, but to be on the team, they gotta do this. And most of them will make, he's going to make about 12 right now. And if he practices in a month, he'll make 20. You ready? Count how many guys. Mike, it's right. Wait a minute. Don't cheat. Ready? Go. So this is a uh, Division three college player. Come on, I want to hear your count there. What's he got? How many he makes? But this is where we warm up every time. You got two seconds and time. What do you got? He's got 12, I was right on, right? Every big guy can do 20, and every guard can do 18. And it's a, it's a simple ball, Antony, but just think of the stretch he was doing every day. Those type of skill development drills are, we got, like I said, we got 20 or 30 of them that we test our kids with. We don't say go home and work at your ball handling. We say, you better be able to come back and make 20 of those. You gotta be able to put your, a, a, a simple ball rotation. Our guards gotta be able to do this in one minute 120 times and going back and forth. Our forward's 110. 10, 10, 10 times and then flip it back, right? In one minute. Their arms are killing them at the end of it. There's a, those are all things. To be on the Michigan team, you gotta be able to do those things. Each guy's gotta be able to make 63. Come on here and somebody grab a basketball, somebody rebound for them. Grab a basketball. Who's your best? Three point shooter. Three point shooter. So this is, a, actually got this drill from Bryce Drew when he was playing at Valpo. And then we've made it a standard for us, making 63s in five minutes. I'm going to show you a short version. I need one guy rebounding. You're going to take a three, a three, and another three. Then step in and take a 15-footer. Then another, then three more threes and keep doing it, right? Our goal, we want everybody to, we want everybody to take 87 shots at least in, one, in five minutes, and they got to make 60. We've had guys make 82, Nick Stauskas, Duncan Robinson, who was with the, with the, uh, and, uh, Nick is with Cleveland, Duncan Robinson, Division Three player from Williams and transferred in, can make 82 out of 87 like this. So, you ready? So I'm just going to do it here quickly for one minute. You count how many he makes, but I want how many shots, because you need to get 17 shots off. 17 shots off in one minute to get this right, right? So really, 17 and a half. Let me do this again. Clear it. Go. So, the whole idea is get good rebounds, catch them, but move around. You got to keep moving around too a little bit. Don't get on the same spot. So the, the goal again is 17 shots a minute and making 12 would be his right spot. Keep, keep yelling what he's got, son. So he's a quarter of the way there right now. Shooting a little bit slow. Rebound, he's got to get him shots. That's going to delay things a little bit. <laughs> All right, go. Keep going. We'll give you five extra seconds. So we're counting on, this is a, a drill our guys are trying to get every rebound without it hitting the floor with two hands and two feet. Not one foot, not one hand. See, I wouldn't like that rebound. Go get it with two hands. Go get the rebound with two. Come on, that's a re that's a ball handling drill. Get that rebound. Good, that's it. Now pivot and pass to him. That's it. Good. What's the guy so far? Are uh, you shooting inside the arc too now? Every, third, every fourth shot's inside the arc. 
Because you've got to change your vision. You've got to change your depth. All right, and you, I'm going to give you three more seconds. Good job. And time. All right, how many yet? He had 10 of 15. So he wasn't shooting it quite quick enough, and he would end up getting 50 if he stayed at that rate, right? But it's a easy guy said, kid says, hey, I can really shoot. Show me the money right there. So you want a green light? Tell me, tell us every day that you're gonna make 60 net when we do it. We'll do it for two minutes, three minutes, but the standard is five minutes, make get at least 80, 84 to 87 shots off, right? And make 60. And it's, it, even our big guys have to do it. Now, if you get a kid that can make 50, he's probably gonna, you shoot it when you're open. But to get the green light, you don't, and you just don't make it once. You gotta, you gotta make it over and over again. But a great skill development. So the, the thing that's not changing, do skill development. If you saw our practice last year at this time, we were right here playing. Actually, I was where I was probably, you know, in a pregame meeting or something right now. But if you saw our practice the day before the final game, we would have done double micans. We would have done a, uh, some shooting drill that's measured, right? We would have done some, a ball and we would have done passing, five-star passing. Some type of skill about We do it from the beginning to the end, right? It is so much, our practices are so much about getting better at making Michigan better instead of worrying about the next opponent. So I don't think that's, that's going to change. Uh, shooting makes up for a lot of things. Culture wins. Culture wins is another thing that's not going to change. Who you have on your team, how do you select? you got to teach culture. Right? We have five core values that we stick by. You pain. You pain is the acronym. Unity. Right? We're a team first. Passion. We love basketball. We love the University of Michigan. We love each other. Appreciation. We have an attitude of gratitude for being allowed to play basketball. We had a young man, Austin Hatch, that was in two car crashes, or two plane crashes, lost his whole family twice. He's on our bench for four years. We look at him every day and say, you got, and he can't play anymore. He was the next Wally Serbiak. He was tremendous. We look at him every day and say, you better appreciate what you have right now, what this, what this man has lost. Integrity, as we said, the biggest of all values, because you can have great love for your teammates, great passion, but if you're stealing in the locker room or you're telling lies, you're missing class, all goes away. And then diligence is we're going to work hard. You pay. We've added accountability and with our teams because we felt today's generation does not talk enough. So they text and they don't talk enough. We want them to have this accountability to go up and say, you know what? I, you know, you you got to work harder in practice and hold themselves accountable. So building that culture and teaching uh, things that aren't going to change. There's many ways to play the game. Many ways. You know, defensive transition is one. I'm going to give you a quick, quick example. Get, um, uh, get a couple big guys right there. Just five guys get right here, and you guys five are on defense or on, on offense right here. Let's say right now, who's the, all right, you're a big guy, right? And I'm going to call you a big guy, and I'm going to call you all guys guards right now, okay? I'm going to say this guy's the five man, and I'm going to say this guy's a four man so that we understand what I'm talking about. And these are all one, twos, and threes. So when we're in defensive transition before every game, we'll decide how are we guarding the transition, right? One way, right, is going to be the classic way we, that we call Well, I'm not going to tell you what we call it because then everybody's going to know what we call it. But we have a certain <laughs> number. For example, I'll just give you one number. 30 is mean our three guys, uh, give me, get your two big guys right over here. Two, take two big guys, you three get right? 30, get over here. Every game it changes, depending on the personnel. These three guys are gonna end up these, being these three guys, and the two bigs gotta take their bigs. They're, so these guys can take anybody in transition, preferably the matchup, but these two guys are gonna take their two bigs. But then sometimes they're big, right? Might, one might be a shooter and one might not be a shooter. Right, so then we get a, we get a different, or, or, or it doesn't make a difference. We might call that 32, which just take your, take either big, right? So we may do that. We may say that we're in a different defense. Go over here, stay there. Go over here, stay there. We'll be in transition, 
in a different a different numbering system. This is what we are in transition here. It's a simple numbering system, right? That they got those guys. Take the point guard and put them over here with the big guy. Take a point guard, put them over, right? Transition defense. We might, you two guys got to get your two guys. We don't care about you guys. Just get a guy. And every game it changes for us, and we work, we work at it like crazy. Let me give you a quick drill to do that. Uh, go down there and start a weave. Get down here on the lane, right here. Uh, if I could have, uh, who's over there? I, I'm gonna have a basket. Uh, let me have the basketball. Uh, no, no, you do it. You, you can do it. You, you, the, the black team, get down here. You're gonna be coming up the court. So we do this as we prepare for every game, a team's transition offense, and then their second, and then not their secondary break, how they get into things. We'll just weave the ball, and we'll end, but we want you to trick each other because we don't want it to be the big guy. When that point guard, and, and like Xavier Simpson, Trey Burke, Derek Walton, they get the ball to the basket, and they lay it in, and they get knocked down, and there's teams in our league, like Michigan State, rushing it out of there, Right? Our big man, our guard is down. So how are we gonna guard transition defense? So we work, this is a five minute thing almost every day about just getting to your matchup, whether it's any of those numbering systems that I just said. So what I want you, you guys are off the court. Do we have one more ball here? Get, throw him one ball. Get, get the point guard a ball. So you guys are gonna lay it in. The two, four, the, the four and the five got at least touch the paint. And you guys, as soon as the ball's in the air, you guys are taking off. You're flying. Actually, take, put the two and the three. Two and the three, get up here on these wings. Go. Get a wing, get a wing over here. So you guys all got to be below the foul line. On the, not on the shot, on the rise of the shot. You guys are flying back. And you got to find these guys. As soon as that rise of the shot, you come dribbling out. Actually, you take the ball right there, and you and you get over in this wing, and you come in. Are you the point guard? You're being... You come out and go get the ball, okay? So ready? Weave it. Go ahead. And this is a simple, simple. We do this out of our thing. Just lay it in. And now it's a point guard lay it. Here they come. Go. And they got to move back and they got to find somebody. So on that one, because the point guard was shooting, the two-man would have started back early. Do the same thing again. Two-man. I want you to when that. If the point guard goes score again. When you recognize, who's your two-man here? Who's the two-man? You're at, your butt is back. As soon as you see he's going to go in. Right? Ready? Go to do it again. And then everybody's got to get back again. And believe it or not, we're very, very All right, Now we got at least one man back. And now we got to figure out who's got who. And, it's just, and everybody's got a guy. Now we might, might pull up. And now we might go into ball screens where there's three different coverages there. If well, One thing that's changing, and, you're, and that's in my next column, is how, I, I had a guy tell me, like, well, we always play the ball screen the same way. Man, we might play it seven different ways because it's all about personality, you know? And, and I say, it's so important. Are you going to switch it? Are you not going to switch it? Everybody's switching now. Are you going to hard hedge it? I watched the Pistons and the, uh, and the Indian Pacers. They were hard hedging all day long, and they were great on defense at it. Don't say we, we're going to do it one way, right? You got to do what's best for your team. What's your give you a sense of the best chance? So we might do that, and then we'll go into motion. We'll go into whatever we're going to see the next. But it will say, all right, the coverage is 25. The coverage is 51. The cover, and our kids know it. And it's uh, it's so many times, even as a young coach. You know what my defensive transition drill was? Get back! <laughs> Come on, get back! Come on, we gotta get back faster. And I was like giving them no direction. Now they know that you gotta get back. Well, I think you wanna see here, go down there again, is you, you wanna see two things. The, the team that scores here, black don't come up. All right, I want the big man to take a shot, and on his rise up, I want the two and I want the one and the two over half court, and the three guys, and three guys are crashing, all right? But you guys aren't coming back. Just go. So have the big man take a shot, but you guys better be on the other. Get, get down there, get down there. Okay. All right, now we, hold up. We want, get there. Get there, get there. We want nobody in this space when the shot goes up. Nobody in this space. They're either there or they're there. Right? Now we will go into a game like this and say, how many are we crashing the boards? Go, go back. Maybe it's this many. Maybe, maybe it's, go back. It's one guy. There's a lot of, that's never changes. There's a lot of way to win games. 
I personally hate it when they don't send anybody to the offensive boards. I hate it. Because it means we're not getting any fast break points. And you watch the NBA? Very few times the guys go to the offensive boards. I, I, was, I was coaching it at, at Richmond, and we were playing uh, VMI, and they had this kid Jason Conley. And we lost in overtime, uh, like 111, 105 in a guaranteed game. And this the, a co old coach at Randolph Macon named Hal Nunley was watching the game. You guys can sit down. And he said to me, we had, we had a young man, uh, Mike Scrocky, who was a tremendous player for us. And I was sending him the board every time as a three man. Why? Because that's what somebody told me in a clinic. Right? And every day, every, he was sitting going every time. He was working his tail off. Every time he to the offensive boards. Every time he went to the offensive boards. Hey, Coach, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you're looking for more resources just like that, check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. If you're looking for a mentor, if you're looking for solutions to your problems, check it out up above 14-day free trial.